Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. Now this is video one in an ongoing series in which I'll be showcasing as well as reviewing the storyline for Star Wars The Old Republic. Now what you're going to be seeing here is female light-sided Sith warrior. Now this is uh, the beginning planet pretty much which is uh, basically a tutorial for the game and I had a lot of fun playing the storyline uh, the main story, but uh, the side optional quests were kind of bland. But all in all, this is my favorite experience uh, out of all the uh, beginning planets among all the classes and races. Well, uh, without further ado, here you go, here are the cutscenes. Hope you enjoy! At last, you've arrived. Good, good. There is much to do, and every moment is critical. I'm Overseer Tremel. For decades, I've administered the trials that prove who is and is not worthy to join the Sith Order. The trials are a chance to weed out the weak. Those who face them either survive and become Sith, or die. I think I'll take the first option. I didn't bring you here for levity. Yes, you are here and ahead of schedule because of me. I expect you to obey. You face your trials, you serve me, and I will make you the most powerful acolyte here. Why am I skeptical? Have a critical edge, but recognize who is on your side. The trials themselves are difficult enough, but they are hardly the greatest threat you face. There's an acolyte here named Vemrin. He's your enemy, and he will try to kill you. We must prepare you. How is it I already have an enemy? All you need to know is that you are a threat to him, and he to you. We'll make sure you can stand up to that threat. That practice sword you've arrived with is insufficient. The blade of lesser acolytes. You need a dominating weapon. In the tomb of Ajunta Paul, there's an old armory. A strong Sith war blade awaits you there. The tomb is thick with claw slugs. Deadly, savage creatures. Be speedy, but careful. They've been the end of many an acolyte. If they lack the instinct to avoid me, I'll feed them their heads. Once you acquire the war blade, I suggest you spend some time in the tomb bloodying it. Then come to me in my chambers in the academy. Hey there, Acolyte. Hold on a moment. Let me get a look at you. Hmm, so you're Overseer Tremel's secret weapon. Impressive, to be sure. Afraid the old man waited too long to make his move, though. I'm Vemrin, and unlike you, I've fought and bled for everything I have. I demand respect. This is a big place, Vemrin. There's more than enough room here for both of us. I'm glad to hear you say that. There's plenty of room for you, behind me. 
If Overseer Tremel had made his move a year ago when I first arrived, you might have had a chance. But now, too little, too late. This is ridiculous, Remrin. Let's just kill her and hide the body. We're not on Balmora anymore, Torgus. There are rules, traditions. We'll leave the shortcuts to Overseer Tremel and his last pathetic hope here. You're not very good with people, are you? You're not funny, just pathetic. And you've been warned. Coming, Dolgus? Be right there, Vemrin. Listen to me, you useless priss. Acolytes aren't allowed to murder each other. But accidents happen. It isn't murder without witnesses. No more warnings. Vemrin's the alpha monster here. You go after Vemrin, you die. Good. You've returned. You seem to be in one piece. Tell me, how do you like your new blade? I suppose this is sufficient. What are you doing, Father? I only just got my war blade, and I've been here six months. I have my reasons, Escala. And you will not breathe a word of this to anyone. Do you hear? Yes. Yes, Father. Acolyte, this is Escala, my daughter. She's one of the advanced students here, on her way to becoming Sith, if she minds herself. I'll keep quiet about your new charge, Father, but I won't be there if whatever you're planning blows up in your face. Don't mind her, she's just sore that I'm keeping secrets. She growls, but she's loyal. Now, I thought I heard Vemrin's voice in the adjacent chamber before you arrived. Did he make his move so soon? He just introduced himself to me. If he didn't attack, he must not fully comprehend the threat you represent. Good, good. Still, I'd hoped we'd have more time. Vemrin's not the type to sniff around for too long before trying to take a bite. In a drive for sheer numbers, the criteria for Academy admittance has been relaxed. Now anyone with force sensitivity is allowed entrance. Vemrin is mixed blood, the invisible rot eating at the foundation of the Empire. He must not be allowed to advance. So, you're an elitist snob? You say that like it's a bad thing. It's the Sith way. Only the best, only the most pure, should be good enough. Unfortunately, Vemrin's caught the eye of Darth Barriss, one of the most influential Sith Lords. He's being groomed to be Barriss's new apprentice. As Darth Barriss's apprentice, the power at Vemrin's fingertips will be considerable. He could change the Sith for the worse. You must proceed to your next trial immediately. I want you to interrogate three prisoners in the Academy jails and decide their fates. Consider each criminal's story carefully. The decisions you make will be scrutinized, so let your passions guide your judgments. Scrutinized? Who presumed to judge my actions? You? Of course. When Darth Barris catches wind of you, it's going to be my neck on the line as much as yours. Go to the Academy prison. Speak to Head Jailer Nash and return to me after you've passed judgment on the prisoners. One more chirp from you, little bird, and you'll regret it. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Ow, jerk. If you don't like that, just say so. I can do other animals, too. Dire cat, frog dog, quaking monkey lizard, you name it. You, I'm Jailer Nash. I run these cells in slave pits. You're the acolyte Tremel sent for the test, right? <laughs> he thinks highly of you. That's good to hear. I want to do well. You should know this situation is highly unusual. Normally an acolyte goes off well for the interrogation. Overseer Tremel, at these three shipped him for you. He thinks you're the next coming of Exar Kung. But you ought to know, Tremel ain't the only one paying attention to you. Now, these three prisoners have been transferred here for your inspection. You gotta interrogate them as needed, and then decide their fate. The convicted are usually executed, or given a trial by combat to see if they're worthy. Whatever you decide, you will be the one to carry out the sentence. As it should be. Ah, fine. Let's get started. This one on the left. You freaks aren't getting anything new out of me! Just do whatever you're gonna do! You can either talk to me or to the Inquisitors, and I promise, 
I have a much sunnier disposition. Get lost. I've been through this routine. I already know all your Inquisitors by name. Impudent to the last. As I was saying, she was sent to kill an Imperial spy in the Yavin system. Throughout her torture, she maintained that she was hired anonymously. Get it through your damn head! I had no idea he was Imperial, and I don't know who hired me! So, you're telling me you're not a Republic assassin? I'm not political. I work for whoever pays. The point is, she doesn't deny the charge. So now you must decide. Execution or trial by combat. Which do you choose? Neither, actually. She could prove useful. Send her to Imperial Intelligence. I won't work for free. Huh. You spared her. Interesting. Please. I am a fellow Sith. Judge me with an open mind and grant me trial by combat, I beg you. Your name, now. This part of waste is Davotech. Once a valued Sith champion, until he botched an important mission and caused a thousand Imperial deaths. Now look at him. I served faithfully for 24 years. Then one mistake, and they threw me away. Now I have been left here to rot. Please, let me feel the weight of a weapon once more. You're not worth the effort. Live on in shame. Then I am misery. Languishing here is worse than death. <laughs> and I thought his disgrace had already hit rock bottom. I'm sick of thinking about him. Let's just move on. Ah, well, this last prisoner's a bit of a puzzle. He's called Brig, and he's a jittery little wretch, suspected of supplying forged documents to Republic agents. Strangely enough, he maintains his innocence, despite being severely tortured. Nebaga imana, naki naya, bila maknam unya kamna lebek. Come on, who would go to all the trouble of setting you up? Nibikak nakamak! Nebaga imana, naki naya, bila maknam unya kamna lebek. Ah, he's never wavered from that line. And the evidence is circumstantial. I suppose it's actually possible he didn't do it. So, what do you decide? I think in this case we should release him. Let him go. Freedom, huh? That's a new one. Ah, well that's that. You're an interesting one, kid. I can see why people are keeping tabs on you. Head back to Overseer Tremel. See what he thinks of your choices. Is this everything? Everything Lord Renning was able to obtain, yes. Then run back to your master in the beast pens before I cut you in half. Sorry to make you wait, Acolyte. These interruptions are incredibly annoying. On to the business at hand, your test in the jails. First, the assassin, Solentz. She attempted to kill an Imperial spy, but was unaware of her client's affiliation. You assigned her to Imperial Intelligence. I commend you, that was excellent thinking. Never waste a potential resource. Thank you, Overseer. I'm glad you approve. What's more important is that Darth Barris would approve. Now, the failed warrior, Devotech, he begged you to let him die fighting. You left him languishing in his cell. Why? I thought maybe time will reawaken the lion inside him. It should have been obvious to you that his fire cannot be rekindled. Devotech was an utter waste of space. Once something is no longer useful, it should be eradicated. Remember that. Now... The last prisoner, the Forger. Letting him go was highly questionable. Explain yourself. It's folly to waste time tormenting an innocent man. Innocent or not, he leaves here with first-hand knowledge of our facilities and procedures. It's potentially compromising to have him floating about the galaxy. You must always be thinking and considering every angle. Aside from a strong and skilled sword arm, that will be what impresses Darth Barris the most. You're beginning to understand what it means to be Sith, but you're far from being able to impress Darth Barris. I'm not worried about impressing Barris. Impress him, or die. Those are really the only choices you have. 
Because I forced you into the Academy ahead of schedule, Darth Barris will be predisposed to judging you severely. And by severely, I mean fatally. Now, we must hurry to your next trial. Every moment that passes, we risk discovery before we're ready. In the caverns of Mark Aragnos is the beast he left to guard his legacy. Go there, sit among the flames, and wait for the beast to come for you. You think that's enough information? How about you tell me about this beast? All you need to know is that it's ferocious and bloodthirsty, and in no way is it a trial for a normal acolyte. Return to the Valley of the Dark Lords and find the tomb of Mark Aragnos. I'll see you when the beast is slain. Good luck. Well, look who's here. Remember me? I never forget a face. Your name is Dolgis, right? Vemrin's boy. Very good. It's good to know the name of your killer. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts. No more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. No! Hold up! Hold up! Look, I was wrong. What they're saying about you, totally true. So... strong. I don't want to die. Next time you won't be so lucky. Oh, you won't see me again. I promise. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider smashing that thumbs up button. Uh, hit that subscribe and ring that bell uh, for notifications on future videos that I might be posting. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.